In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to collect summer gift bags inside of Pet Simulator 99, and these could actually land you a huge pineapple monkey, so make sure to stick around until the end if you want to find out how. If you want to enter any future huge giveaways, make sure to follow these four steps. Number one, you want to like the video, as always. Next, you want to subscribe to the channel, because if you aren't subscribed, you are not going to win any huge pets. Number three, you want to watch the video all the way till the end, so you don't miss out on the best ways to get OP inside of Pet Simulator 99. And last but not least, number four, you want to comment down your Roblox username, uh, for a chance to win the huge pet. And with that, good luck. All right, so this is kind of the spoiler because I did my intro inside of the area that we're supposed to be in, but it's going to be this jungle chest boss fight area. So this thing uh, spawns, I believe, every three hours, and I believe you have like one hour to destroy it. So uh, pretty much you just want to go up with like a team of people because uh, by yourself, it's going to be very hard. Unless you have like a full team of huge pets or like Titanics, this is not going to be an easy task. So definitely you want to team up with some other people from the server and you want to pretty much bring your pets over and start fighting this uh, jungle boss which i mean this is a volcano chest and it does look very similar to the one from the spawner in the volcano world and so as you can see you just want to pretty much tap here um and then yeah the boss i believe has like around 20 billion health um and so pretty much you want to go uh if you want it best uh the best way to actually uh you know, destroy this is going to go with your potions you want to do some damage potions you also want to go and do some treasure ones um, I guess for the drops later on, I'll show you where the drops are like, you know, uh, like where they really come up. And then you also want to do coins because it does give you some coins. And then you want to also go down to enchants and you want to pretty much, I'm going to go to my first loadout. Uh, boss just maybe yeah, you don't actually need this one. Uh, I recommend getting the treasure hunter one, uh, corruption, a strong pets buck, uh, criticals, a mini chest we don't actually need. We could have swapped it out for like a chest breaker because that's, uh, that's like a mini chest right here. And I don't know if it works for the main boss right here. And so you want to do that. Nightmare orb is also all right. Uh, we could just do, I don't know, something else instead of this, like, I don't know, like a coins buck or something, uh, but I'll keep it there. And then super magnet, you could just swap it out with a magnet three bug and that's also fine. And then this would be pretty much your loadout for the uh, for the enchants. And you also want to go to ultimates and pretty much get a good ultimate. Uh, I have the tornado right here. This is only 7 million gems, so it's not crazy. It's a decent amount. And so you pretty much want to get your pets. Uh, you also don't want to do auto farm because if, you're, if you put your pets on auto farm here, it's going to glitch out. So you definitely want to keep that off and you just want to pretty much go around. Uh, and you pretty much want to just you know, do this. Um, destroying flags, once again, you can actually put flags on the uh, on this sort of area right here. So make sure to put some flags. Uh, the ones that I recommend the most, I mean, the uh, strength flags, as someone did over here, those are on the bad option. And as you can see, I got so much stuff. We'll just try to get this uh, dropping one more time. But anyways, uh, yeah, so you pretty much can just put any pretty much flag you want. And you also want to stay in this like dotted, like dashed uh, line zone. Because if you step out of it, your pets are going to go wherever. So you really want to stay in here. I don't know why it's a glitch. And as you can see, we've got so much stuff. We got like, what, nine seashells from that? That's a lot. That's way more than the best area. Um, and so you pretty much want to just collect over here. I believe the infinite uh, seashell glitch, which was from this uh, minigame, has been patched or like nerfed, but you still get a decent amount, way more than like from the last area. So you definitely want to take advantage of this. We got like 15 or something there. And so yeah, you pretty much want to go here. Uh, another, the better option though, instead of a strength flag, is let's, let's go to items. You also want to put down, uh, the best one's probably the exotic treasure flag, but you can also put shiny and rainbow flags. Those help out way better than the strength flag in terms of strength. And so yeah, right now we just destroyed all those, and then we can go back here and destroy this uh, boss chest right here. And lastly, you can go into your items, and you can also put on uh, TNT crates or TNT. So let's just put on a bunch of TNTs, and these actually work. It'll pretty much work on anything. Like if there were four chests right here, uh, it would work on all four of them, or, or like, you know, the boss chest right here would work on that as well. So you pretty much want to do this, and pretty much like every 5 billion damage you take on the boss, you pretty much have to take a break from, you know, destroying it. You have to go back here. So yeah, this is like, uh, I believe like the first break when it gets to 15 billion is like, you have to destroy like some loot bags or like stuff around the map. And then 10 billion and 5 billion, like right now, uh, you have to actually destroy these four uh, smaller chests around the map. And chest breaker is super OP against these. Definitely probably the most um, recommended enchant that you get. Like honestly, I'm probably just going to uh, remove the Nightmare Orb and we're going to put it down another chest breaker. And there we go. Uh, that's going to help out a ton. So as you can see, we're just doing this. Uh, someone's putting down TNT crates, pretty nice. And I also forgot to mention that the uh, shells that you collect also uh, contribute to the global events. And uh, so I, as you can see right there, and unfortunately I did the uh, boss, I think, we did we fight the boss? I don't know what just happened. We just 
you spawn for some reason. Uh, I, don't, I really don't know what happened there. But uh, yeah, yeah, if, you, if, you, if that happens to you, just come back here. Uh, this this uh, boss fight, I'm pretty sure, lasts an hour. So you have plenty of time to actually destroy this uh, thing. I don't know if it respawns or like you know, or you just get kicked out of the boss fight. But we're just going to pretty much uh, wait until we destroy this. As you can see, if we just destroy this right here, we get tons of loot. Like also like seashells are like you know that that's crazy. And each seashell is like three thousand. So if you don't even care about summer gift bags, maybe just sell these in the train plaza. And uh, since the demand is up on these things, you can just get a ton of profit from gems. And so as you can see, we just destroyed this last bit. And for some reason, you have to destroy like another four. Uh, so I believe now you have to destroy eight of these to actually get back to that boss. And also, I forgot to mention, yeah, make sure to use your uh, ultimates right here. So these things uh, definitely help out a ton. Like as you can see right there, that took out like a billion right there. So you definitely want to do that. Although it does glitch out and go back to that like uh, main area. Uh, but you just want to like, you know, use it. Uh, it's going to definitely help out. So uh, well, there we go. And then we got this one last one to do. All right. So I actually have to uh, destroy 12 of these, not eight. So I don't know why. I guess there's like a lot of me have to destroy. It. But that's good because the more chests there are, the more shells you get from this uh, boss fight. So as you can see, we're going to destroy this one. And uh, yeah, there we go. So this is the boss. Finally came back down after 12 of them. So you just want to destroy this boss. Click, click, click. I got a bunch of critical right here. All right. And there we go. We are down to 500 million. And we're about to destroy this boss. Let's see what the loot we get. And uh, there we go. Look at how much loot we got. Wow, that is insane. I mean, that's that's probably as much loot as we got from these like mini chests right here. But that's pretty good still. So uh, I don't, I'm not sure if this actually respawns. All right, yes, yeah, so you can only fight it once, I believe. So now that it can, like it just refresh now, and I, now we cannot fight it again. But yeah, let's just go all the way up to the uh, beach island and let's see like if we can make any uh, seashells because that's gonna be pretty nice. Let's just go all the way over here. And there we go, we got almost, uh, we can pretty much almost make two of them. So that's pretty nice. Uh, pretty much a million for these. But yeah, it's a lot more OP, I believe, than the last area. If you want to get a huge seashell boost, you definitely want to go for the boss fight chest. But if you want to know an even better way to get the huge pineapple monkey, make sure to check out this video right here.